to Dubai and look who I found. Where is he? <laughs> We've got Jerome. Jerome, welcome to Dubai. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this trip. It's gonna be awesome. Guys, a lot of you have been asking what do I have in my backpack? And for that, we need to get to our final destination so I can show you exactly what we have in here because it might be a little bit surprising and I've been hesitating a lot as to what would be my final gear lately. A lot of things have changed. Can't wait to update you on that. Let's try to finish those, what, two more days of travel <laughs> to get to where we're supposed to go. Hello. Caribou! Welcome to Tanzania everyone. We made it and we're gonna talk about something super important. What is in my bag? This is the one and most important question of all times because this is the question I get the most. It's always a dilemma as a photographer. Which gear are you going to use? What are you going to really use? You don't want to overpack, you don't want to carry too much. At the same time, you don't want to miss the shot and that's the most important. First of all, I'm using a backpack. Uh, the brand is called Atlas. Great backpack. Uh, especially if you're gonna carry long distances gear because this is made like a hiking backpack with the camera gear in here. We're gonna get there in a second. I'm gonna show you what's my favorite lens of all time and the one I kind of didn't want to take and why I took it. And there was one also I regretted not taking because actually guys, I tried to record this video the whole time and it wasn't possible. So I'm recording this after, that's why my beer is like 10 days old. It was such a crazy trip, hectic. We, it was, felt like we were in Nat Geo, honestly, going with safaris, local tribesmen, hunting, uh, underwater, in the air, Kilimanjaro. Oh my God, it was so crazy. I can't wait to share all those shots with you. Honestly, I think my gear has changed a lot in 2021 and I wanna show you what is the latest I'm using and why. So if you're ready, one, two, trois, All right, this is everything I have right here in the bag. First, we've got a GoPro 8 in order to shoot a little bit of behind the scenes and underwater and in difficult conditions in the rain. This is great also for the POVs. Then what do we have? We have the camera that I'm using right now is a Sony Alpha 1. This is a A1. I love that camera. It shoots so fast. You can see the full review that I did already on it. Super fast, works in every condition. And I actually find myself using a lot the single shot mode and switching between burst and single shot very fast. I love that it has the little uh, button right there to do that. It's super good, 50 megapixel, you don't have to worry, you can recrop. Obviously we said safari, right? Wild animals, so 7200 f2.8. That one, my baby came with me. You've seen me shoot in the streets around the world with it. Well, this time I shot in the savannah with it and honestly, it performed great. But to get more range, I got something we call a teleconverter. A times two, I rented it out and it turns my 7200 in 140 to 400 millimeter lens and it also doubles the aperture to f5.6 so you gotta keep that in mind but honestly at 400 millimeter 5.6 is fine uh, it's already like super shallow and you'll probably miss your shot anyways so 7200 has been amazing i kind of was afraid to take it because it's heavy but honestly, in the savannah, when animals are far, you really, 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 really need a long lens if you want those tight shots. Like with lions, we saw like 26 lions. I won't spoil it, full episode's coming on that. Now, next, 20 millimeter f1.8, super versatile. I use it for video, I also use it for photo when I shoot wide, I use it in my underwater housing. And this is a lens that, I didn't know if I would like it at the beginning because I had the 2414 but the extra width actually allows me to shoot myself in video and also to capture really those moments uh, in wide angles. When we're shooting with the local tribesmen, the Hadzabe tribe, I can tell you I've really enjoyed having that 16 millimeter. It gets you in the action a lot. You'll see those photos are, oh la la. I don't even know what to do with them. I'm like, I should go talk to Nat Geo. Then we have the lens that I kind of, not regretted, but I was never planning to take it. It's a 35mm f1.4 
why didn't I want to take it? Although it's a classic lens, like everyone like talks about 35mm for street photography, I didn't want to take it because I thought I had enough gear. I don't like to carry too much, and I think uh, this was a hassle. Jérôme, yo Jérôme, wanted Hello. to take his massive Sigma one, and I was like, no, 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 don't worry, I'll bring the Sony, you can use it. Did you use it a lot? A little bit. I wish I used it a little bit more, but um, I guess we we're on the go, so I didn't have the opportunity to use it as much as I would have wanted. Yeah, I used it for a POV when we arrived in Dar es Salaam, uh, street photography. That was, that actually, that POV was kind of weird. Huh? The interaction at the beginning with the locals, I didn't know what to do. It was my first time here back in like an Eastern African countries, and I didn't know how to deal with it too much. But in Tanzania, people are super nice and friendly, but I did feel a little weird sometimes. You'll see the video, uh, I won't spoil it, it's coming very soon. Now let's talk about my favorite of all times. Let's see if you can guess it. Guess in the comments what is my favorite lens that I've used on this trip. Can you guess? Can you guess? Okay, this, this should give you a good idea. Ooh, drum roll please. 50mm f1.2. I never thought I would be that 50 guy, but I became that 50 guy with a 50 f1.2. This is a crazy lens, okay? I got one of my favorite portraits of all time of a lady from a local tribe around Lake Eyasi. With that lens, we were inside a hut. There was like direct light hitting inside. Everything was, oh, so beautiful. I can't wait to share that with you guys. The behind the scenes is gonna be insane. You're gonna be like, what? 51.2, super sharp. From 1.2 to F16, the thing is a beast. It also focuses ultra sharp, ultra fast. It is great if I don't want to be too close to people, if I want to be a, a little bit further. I used it a lot also in the market. Market POV coming up really soon, street photography. That was also really weird. There were a lot of people around us. But it was also nice and full of life. Then I've got something here. Filter pouch with a little fiber cloth. I've got a bunch of filters. The most important ones are the polarizing filters and the ND filters for the video. Now, you might be realizing that there is another camera right there and it is the A7S III with a 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8, the GM. My GM is like starting to get a little like wacky. It acts funny sometimes. I still use it every day. It's still my one of my favorite lens because it's so versatile. Sometimes I regret it not having a 2470, honestly, just because I wouldn't have to change lenses. But prime lenses, sharpness, nothing beats that. Okay, in this mighty pocket, my secret magic pocket, we have business cards from a very long time ago and we have also a little fiber cloth and most importantly we have this full frame sensor cleaning swab in case you know if something's on my sensor can't remove it and blowing on it doesn't work I will use this little wipe and most importantly guys I had a dust blower I think I lost it it disappeared but you know what I actually don't really use it that much what I do is I blow with my mouth you gotta be careful and like that and it has to be dry when you blow otherwise it's gonna be worse but if you have dust you put your camera upside down with sensor blow a little bit into it and most of the time it will take it off uh yes it's better to have a blow duster but i don't one two three batteries right there spare batteries and we have also a bunch of memory cards i really need to get another pouch because this one is like falling apart or at least the memory cards fall apart my favorite cards right now are the CF Type A memory card for the A7, A1 and A7S III. Super expensive, but damn, they're fast and fast to import and export. It's crazy. I'm so surprised every time. Woo! All right, those Peak Design straps. Actually, I, I'm gonna convert Christian. He's gonna get his. Those Peak Design straps are life, life savers when uh, I'm hiking or when I'm on a trip. Why do I have two? I have two cameras, but most importantly, when I'm carrying one camera and hiking a bunch, we did 27 kilometers with no water, almost, barely. No food, almost, barely. We went hunting with the Hadzabe tribe. It was just insane experience. I don't even know, Jerome, how to describe it. It's so different. So different. It, it shows you a different lifestyle. In a way, it felt like I was back in like 500,000 years ago, mixed with like a thousand years ago, mixed with now. Oh. What an experience. I'll take you on that adventure, guys. It's gonna be the video of a lifetime, honestly. That type of photography is something I might never be able to do in my life again. Then at the front of the backpack, uh, right in there, I've got something that helps me get different kind of shots. You know, sometimes establishing shots for videos and all that. Uh, we have a bunch of hard drives here and we have the drone 
that I actually fit inside that um, tripod bag. As you can see, everything fit in here with an extra battery. It's a Mavic Pro 2. I haven't upgraded or changed to anything else. The drone's amazing. I have no reason to change. And you know what they say, you don't need to change your gear all the time. I have my laptop over here, a bunch of cables here, my passport, and I will carry my spare batteries and stuff like that in uh, the carry-on because you can't check it in. Water bowl, and here a camera strap also that I used actually once. It was very helpful when I used it this one time, but otherwise uh, I don't really need it. Now, let me know in the comments, guys. I wanna know what is your favorite piece of gear, maybe under 100 or $150 lately. What is your favorite piece of gear? It's still the Peak Design Straps for me. Here, right there, I have my underwater housing. You know, the camera condom, it's right in there. You've seen it in action and it will come back in action very soon, don't worry. I also have no tripod on this trip. I didn't use a tripod the one time, <laughs> the one time I needed a tripod. Jerome was, was my here. tripod man. Yeah, with the post and say. <laughs> yeah, and also for a night uh, time lapse. I shot a time lapse at night in the Serengeti, which is a, a savanna protected area and with the Milky Way. It was cool. I think I could have gotten a better angle if I had gone in the savanna, but the problem is I might have been eaten by a lion or hyena or, or cheetah if I had done that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm traveling, I would say, fairly light. Got those two, backpack right there, and this. Remember, it's not about what you're carrying, it's about what you're using. And most importantly, it's also about what's in your mindset. When you're going to shoot, how do you visualize, see, and capture the right shot, no matter what kind of gear you have, and in just two minutes. Sometimes you only have two minutes to get the shots, maybe three different shots, kind of shots. How do you actually get into that mindset? And this is exactly part of my online training, the 30 day to great photos. This is what we really touch on. It's not so much about the gear, it's really changing your mindset around gear. Gear will only take you so far, you know? I gave my camera to kids over here, and I mean, their photos are fun, but it's it, just because it was an A1 doesn't make it a good photo. All right, guys, with that being said, I gotta go to my family. Uh, they're waiting for me, everyone's sick and back in the US, so I'll see you in the next episode. Remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new, and make sure you subscribe because all those adventures are coming up and we've got some crazy videos for you.